Well, one one of the things I want to ask Ryan is like, are you excited for VidCon this year, dude? Are you excited to go? Dude, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, where is it? We're both. It's in Los Angeles. Oh. We're there in six weeks anyway, oh. so I have to ask him about it. Dude. Well, okay, guys, you don't have to be so fucking disgusted. <laughs> I get that we're not the fucking Pauls and we can like hide money and create oh. a fucking security <laughs> problem at VidCon. But oh. God damn. No, okay, I am excited. Jesus. I'm excited. I'm, going to I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm not excited to go to, I'm not, I'm not going to the fucking convention. This shit sounds boring as fuck. I'm going to get wasted all night. Are we going to party this spigot. Wait, oh my god, dude, if we have another homeless story, if I see another dude's balls this time in Los Angeles, dude, I'm so telling that story. What it's happened again? Favorite. Y'all pulled up and this guy was just sitting outside or? Washing his ass. Yep. Yeah. Washing oh, his ass. I'm glad I didn't see that. Can I, can I just, can I just, I feel like I was there now. Right? <laughs> the, I bring it can up I, every can time. I the scariest fucking thing. Go ahead. Shrug. Like, no, oh. I, I gotta, I, I gotta, no, let me, let me tell you guys something too. Like, this is the scariest thing. I don't know if Ryan were told this, but can I just, can I tell you guys, this? imagine waking up at like three in the morning. Okay. Your phone's going off. You pick up your phone. You've got fucking Ryan. You've got Jason <laughs> Wang. You've got like Mama Max. And they're they're at a cartel bar. I'm not a cartel warehouse bar at three in the morning. No, four in the Dude, morning. That was an getting experience. Drunk. That was a hell of an experience. Imagine? Just what getting the there was, was like an you, adventure you, with so with like, Justin Wang. I will say that was something. <laughs> they, I. I wake up in the middle of the night and they send me photos. It's like, so it's like, it's like a fucking empty ass Costco warehouse. And it's just these guys getting drunk. It's not like I'm looking around. like, where the fuck is this party in the background? Wait, it's just you guys. So I'm like sitting there. I'm like, oh man, should I like drive there? Cause these guys are going to get their organs harvested. And I didn't. And you guys came back at like when? Six in the morning? Yeah, like, I was just like, oh man. This is so fucking uns. You guys came back in the morning. You're like, fuck yeah. it. We're just gonna come back when the sun is up. Get out I of here. I would not have gone to that. So honest. I was, I was That's trusting I said, Justin's like- judgment. Honestly, like, like we were just following him. We're like, all right, you lead the way. And uh, yeah, it was when we pulled up. It was, I thought it was cool, but I didn't know what it was. You know, so you know we were there partying and stuff. You know, till like five a.m. Came back. And then ordered Jack in the Box, and the Jack in the Box didn't get delivered to the right house, but we passed out before that anyway. But it was, yeah, it was a crazy experience. Wait, wait, wait. so you come back and fly? Did you dude, order me Jack dude, in the Jorge Box? Jorge ordered too? like fifty tacos and like shit ton of fries, and apparently it like ended up on the neighbor's doorstep or something. It was crazy, but. You should have just fucking went out there and grabbed those. Your order. They did the same thing to me too. Like the fucking Uber Eats lady came to the other place. I'm like, that's my order. She's like, no, sir. Let me call. Let me call Uber and talk to them so I can make sure you're not a homeless man stealing food. I'm like, all right, lady. So it's a fucking. It's a. It's a, it's some fries and a drink. Calm down there. We don't have to get the fucking NSA involved over this shit. But all right, cool. We'll get to the bottom of this. I guess it must happen though. Yeah, they, they were they were doing it, but um. I was supposed to meet you that weekend too, nice, but yeah. you, you caught me when I was too wasted in the morning. I was there. I was doing the uh, Anthony Padilla interview at the same time as VidCon was going on. Which, what day? Uh, I, I Anthony just... Padilla does like these interviews with YouTubers and whoever, and oh, I think the he's day, like, oh the my God, day in the life. Guys... Yeah, yeah. So it was uh, yeah. Yeah. spent a day with Nux Taku, poor guy, yeah. uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> we overlapped, but it didn't work out. Yeah, it was like uh, the Anthony Padilla. It's like I spent twenty four hours with John Wayne Gacy's <laughs> victims or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's the stuff. I like that one. I, I always like his. I always like his videos too. Like there was one where like it, it kind of blew me away. Like one of them was like the the one that really like interested me was the one with like dissociative identity disorder. So like DID. Because he spent like 24 hours okay, with people right. who like, kept switching personalities. When he says spending 24 like, hours with people, I would know, okay? It wasn't, tw- it wasn't 24 hours, but it does make the title. <laughs> was it more uh, like 24 minutes? Uh, how long's the no, video? Was, <laughs> That's how long it was. I think it was It was about a two-hour interview. It got cut down to like a half an hour video. Um, but what impressed me, first of okay. Dude, the production value is insane, okay? I'm sitting here on, like, a plastic fold-up table, okay? Like, <laughs> my computer is... It, that's my whole setup. It's just a computer mm-hmm. and a microphone. This dude, he has, like, lights. He has people yeah. working there. He, It's, it's crazy. Well, it's interesting because, like, a lot of those channels, they have, like, fucking full-on production teams, you know? We yeah. were just talking about, like, trademarks and everything. It's like... How do they make money? Honest, okay, dude, he had, like, four wonder, sponsors yeah. in each uh. video. He's like, this video is sponsored by 
Yeah, know, but Nux, it doesn't Nux answer the, 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 that sometimes that's not the whole co thing, because remember BuzzFeed, how they fell? They did the same thing, except they just had, like, so much of a fucking, they had so much of a, you know, spending, like, they were just spending overhead. more than they ever generated. So, yeah, exactly, they had more overhead than the revenue, so sometimes they didn't even paint the whole picture, right? Like, you could have four sponsors, but remember, he's also in California, so, like, everything's just jacked up the ass up there. We'll sponsor him. Yep. Sour Boys will. I'll give him a bag of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, bro. You sponsor him, I'll get you in his apartment for a day if you want. In his house, I don't know. If that's is that like a sex thing or? I mean, I've seen his. Basement. It could be. Uh, is it, it roomy? Be. I don't know. It, it's creepy. You we don't got nice bathtubs in the middle of the room. <laughs> you know, you know those bathtubs in the middle of the room where there's like a lot of space around the bathtub. Those always scare me. Like I have a phobia of like lonely bathtub i have a yeah big lonely bathtub too i get, took a cold <laughs> bath yesterday oh good for you bro it was horrible this is after the organ bath? harvesting yeah yeah